only eating gas station food in Qatar. Right now I'm in the lobby, right here. I'm waiting for my Uber to come. And my driver is unavailable, so I'm gonna be going in an Uber to a gas station. He's gonna wait for me. I'm gonna get some food. Gas station here is a luxury stuff. Every gas station has some stuff inside that you've never seen before. I've never seen before. I'm gonna show you. We're gonna go on this journey. Smash a like button on this video. First off, though, we're gonna go and check out Jeff's Kuhn Museum. If you don't know who Jeff Kuhn is, this is a picture of what they do. Some balloon type of sculptures type thing. I'm super excited to see it because I've never seen it before and I need some fire Instagram picture. So I'm gonna go there, get an Instagram picture. I have my mom with me today. She's gonna be my photographer because there's no one else I know here in Qatar. If you're in Qatar, please let me know. Here we are. I made it to this Jeff Schoon Museum. That's our boy Jeff. This is what he does. This type of stuff. This is a balloon. It's made from balloon. Look, you can see the thing. This is actually fire. Look at these vans, bro. How is these made of balloon? This is actually crazy. Look at this. Look at that. And there's this one. Alright, we're gonna go inside and see the big stuff. There's some huge stuff of this guy. Alright, I'm not supposed to film in here. They said you're not allowed to film with my camera, but I have my phone. Spot for photo. Bang. Crazy. I'm gonna show you. There's more balloons over there. There's some Play-Doh over here. Look at this Play-Doh bag. That's insane. Look at that. Also, there's bear securities everywhere. I'm gonna show you around. Look at these securities. Yep, yep. I'm filming, baby. That's the little dog I'm talking to you about some vibes over here you know there's this kind of thing right here you can see me you can see the people behind me this is basically what that stuff is there's the dog right here as you can see there's the play-doh right there there's everything is a vibe there's my mom right here panicking because i'm filming i'm not supposed to be filming but anyways i'm gonna wrap it up and get out of here yes i can't take videos oh picture sorry i got some fire pick on instagram go check it out at dr house here we are finally the gas station that i've been trying to get to all right we're gonna go inside and see what we can get because your boy's starving Monsies. Alright, some chips. Let's get that. I don't know what that is. We're gonna get this. All the vibes, alright, at the gas station. Some vibes. Oh, you can even sit and have a vibe in here. Okay, okay. Alright, this could be some great lunch vibes. So we're gonna get we're gonna get one of those. I don't even know what that is. Okay, here we go. We have one of those. What does they have? They have ketchup, they have all this. I don't know. They have hummus. They have some hummus too. Hmm. Oh, they have a little cafe here though. Huh? Oh, they have Dunkin' Donuts in here. Oh my God. All right, how do we get those? The regular cop and a Boston Queen. Bro, come on, this at a gas station? What is that? All right, we're gonna get this for lunch. I don't know what that is. Chicken breast mashed potatoes. All right, we're gonna get this for lunch. Can I make it for them? Um, no, it's fine. Fruits, they have everything, bro. They literally can have, live off everything. This whole meal is 14 bucks. I've never seen this in Telegram before. There you go. And now a word from our sponsors. Before we keep going with the video, I just want to say a big thank you to iRestore. It's the best product out there for hair growth. See, the thing is, why I keep wearing a hat? If you notice, in all my video, I only wear hats because unfortunately, your boy has been losing hair. But I just got a package from the mail today and I'm so stoked about it because after today, my confidence and me looking good is going to come back all because of the iStore device. It has amazing Amazon reviews. It's a hand-free device. I put it on my head and I do all my chores I have to do around the house. I do my dishes. I do my laundry. I do everything just wearing this all I do is put it on my head and it does the work it has a lot of benefits it is FDA cleared I'm gonna be using it for a little time and then I'm gonna post an update video and show you how my hair went from this as you can see on this picture you know how I'm losing hair on the sides and we're gonna see an update how it actually works and restored the losses I got you know it's gonna be a vibe as you can see right now I'm vibing and what else they gave me is this I'm super happy about this hair gummy vitamins I'm super happy to have these and as you saw before I have a shampoo and a conditioner it's gonna be a vibe check them out the link is gonna be on top of my bio there's literally nothing as efficient as this product right now. I restore. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video and bringing back my hair. But for now, let's go back to the video. I just got back home. I had to change. I've been changing my shirts and my clothes literally like four times a day because right now it's 40 degrees Celsius. My phone is turning off. My watch turning off. Everything is getting, it gets so sticky and it's very annoying. So I had to come home. I cannot eat outside. You don't understand how hot it is. And right now I am sitting outside. I don't know how my logic works. Sometimes, you know, my hamster wheels, brains don't really work. But, um... This is what we have. Let me show you. I'm sitting outside on my balcony. We got this dish ready to eat. This is from a gas station. Like taken, I got this whole full on kind of thing with one, what is that? A carrot, some sauce and mashed potato. And I see a little right here. That might be a mushroom. We have two donuts. I'm gonna have them as soon as I'm done. 
and a snack. Fonzie's. I've heard the snack in Friends. Fonzie dated triplets. Is that a, another doctor? Fonzie is the nickname of Arthur Fonzarelli. That's how. I, that's why I know about the snack. I don't know. Is it drumsticks, potato chips? I have no idea. From that gas station. You know my view. If you watch my older video, this is my view. I'm gonna have lunch right here on that view, and hopefully it's gonna taste good. You know, because it's lunch time right now, and after that museum vibes, I need some good meal before we head to dinner, and we're gonna go back and get some snack at a different gas station. I'm actually gonna eat on this thing, this bar right here. I just cleaned. I have an iced tea, a cold iced tea, and I. Anywhere I go in the world, I keep carrying my iced tea. This is the Arabic version of the iced tea. It tastes amazing and it's so refreshing. It is so hot right now that I can't believe how hot it is. It's like Alaska, but the complete opposite. It's the desert, so you know what I mean. All right, here we go. Let me try this. First of all, let's try this puree. All right, from the gas station. Here we go. Huh. I'm usually not a big fan of puree, but this is not bad. This is actually a vibe. Here we go. That's a good portion bite, this one right here. Whoa, this actually tastes good. I'm shook that it serves something like that at a gas station over here. The World Cup is happening right here in November. So everyone that is working on the stadium and all that working class out there, they finish work and they go and grab a nice meal to go from the gas station. This was the equivalent of like $4. Not expensive at all, and it tastes good. You know, I'm, I'm down to eat that. I'm actually down to have this banger. All right, I'm very excited for this drumstick right here on the top, Chicken Nader. Or someone in Friends is named Fonzie's. I don't know. If you guys know what's this Fonzie's reference from Friends, please let me know. Here we go. Oh, oh what? This is how it looks like. It's like mini drumsticks in there. Like, this is a representation of a drumstick. Let's try it and see if it tastes like chicken. This is a chicken chips from the gas station here in Doha, Qatar. Are you kidding? Mm. Mm. Stop this! Can't be real. Mm. Mm. Yo, I've been eating wings like such a weird product, but but it tastes delicious. Oh, what an absolute banger! Dunkin' Donuts in a gas station. I guess it's kind of relatable because in Canada we do have like Tim Hortons and gas stations, and I'm pretty sure in America there's Dunkin' Donuts at the gas station over there. We got my two favorite donuts of all time. Here we go. The cop donuts and the Boston and cream donuts. That's the cop and Boston cream from the gas station here in Doha. I didn't expect to have Dunkin' Donuts in Qatar. Why did I not put you guys right street like this in front of me? I don't know. My brain cells are getting fried, to be honest, in here. It's so hot for me. But here we go. What, what a better angle. Should we eat everything? Ah, I forgot how to do YouTube. I actually forgot how to do YouTube. Why am I calling it a cop donut? I don't know what it's called. Sprinkling pink sprinkles. Mm. Dunkin' Donut is definitely on top. Dunkin' Donut versus Krispy Kreme. I've done that video. I've done that. We compared Dunkin' Donut to Krispy Kreme. And I think Krispy Kreme won that challenge right? when I did it back in Canada. Uh, this is the highlight of my meal, you know? Oh, I love that cream on the inside. What do you mean by that? Such a good vibe because it's so refreshing. Those are cold. I got them from the fridge and they sit cold and fresh. Now that I'm done my lunch, we still have to get some dessert because as you guys see at the gas station, by the way, I got that Korean noodles with the chopsticks. And I'm super stoked to have it for dinner. So we're going to have that for dinner. But we got to go to a different gas station to see what else we can get. I know I haven't been consistent on YouTube a lot because I've been figuring out everything in here and what to do. You know, I've been scheming and trying to figure out what's the best spot to go to and to show you guys and film around everything, especially since the FIFA is coming up very soon. I'm going to try to go to the FIFA stadiums. You're not really allowed to go inside and film, but maybe your boy could sneak in and get some videos for you because I need you to see how extravagant and huge those vibes are over here it's insane you know everybody there's a huge buzz over here about the fifa the world cup especially since it might be ronaldo's and messi's last world cup in the world if you guys are into soccer i don't know you know i love soccer and i'm excited for all these things but the only thing is i hate being by myself i love when i'm surrounding my boys with my friends with all you know team albo all my boys when i'm with them right now here i'm solo dolo I'm all alone. That's my only, you know, downfall of this whole thing. So I'm begging one of the guys to come and visit me, you know, stay with me because I don't know when I'm going to leave. I might be going back to Canada at the end of the month or I might stay here for another extra weeks. I have no idea. You know, I don't have a solid plan. I'm just going with the wind. 
going with the flow. That's what your boy does. And most of the time, it just works out. So we're gonna hope it works out for me. Smash the like button on this video for some good luck. And um, I promise you, I'm gonna be more consistent on YouTube. I need to show you everything I've been doing here. But for now, we're gonna head back to the gas station and get some more stuff. Here we go again. Thank God for my mom. She actually dragged me out to, I'm literally wearing my flip flops. I'm wearing my flops. Some off white socks, still flexing a little bit. Here's my mom, say hi. Yep. Actually getting hotter and hotter by the minute. I don't know how the sun is not going down. It's 4 p.m. right now and it's peak sun. I'm waiting for my Uber. We're gonna go to a temporary petrol station. What that means is temporary petrol gas station is like, it's temporary. That's what, it, that's, that, that's what it means. I know gas station, I don't know what's a petrol station. We're gonna go check it out. So my Uber just dropped me. Let me show you this petrol station because I don't understand what is actually going on. This is the same brand of the first gas station I went to. And this is how they're filling it up containers. I don't understand really what's going on. A temporary one, but it's it's a gas station, I guess it counts. And the food is right here. Look at the vase. All right, this is all fruits. Oh, this is the gas station, mom, it's right here. That's the gas station right here. The actual one, Papa John's. Papa John's vibe, that's the branding in Arabic. That's the vibe. Got the subway vibes. I don't know how it says it in Arabic too. All right, since we don't have a car, we're literally walking on that gas station. And we're going to Hardee's right here. It's an American chain. I've never seen it in Canada, though we don't have Hardee's in Canada. But we have Harvey's. This is Hardee's. It's a little different. This is how it's spelled right here. That menu looks sick. Chocolate, vanilla, raspberry, that's what I want. This dessert right here. She's doing it right there as we speak. Such a vibe. Here's the shake I got from that gas station, from Hardee's actually. Not bad at all. What it says, Natty Dave would love this. Natty is nice. All right, let's try this one. Oh, this is so refreshing. I'm telling you, the only good thing going on for me right now is these cold drinks. Mm. Mm. Wow. What I'm trying to tell you is that you can live at a gas station here in Qatar, they have everything. They have a fast food chain inside the gas station. This is amazing. And the food they had like curly fries. It looks really good over there too. So I might have to come and order the whole menu and try it out. Do some vibes like that. Before I leave, I'm definitely coming back and trying this. Original cheese steak. This is a vibe with the potatoes. Yo, Hardee's, I'm definitely coming back here. Dinner time, baby, and this is what I'm about to have. Hot chicken flavored ramen. I'm gonna make it. Wow. This looks spicy as hell, bro. Why is this black? Oh my God, is it one of those challenges? That, the hottest noodles in the world. Please don't be super hot. That's the night view. Look at the moon. Insane. That's the night view right here that we have. I'm gonna go eat it right there right now. I'm gonna go right there and eat. Let's see this, if it's good. I think this is good to go. Yo, look at this. Just to show you how your boys living. This is my view right now, my food, the gas station vibe. Here we go. I'm gonna see if it's not too spicy. Why is am I blurry? I don't know why I wanted to eat here so bad. I'm just trying to change the scenery. Mm. Holy, I forgot to bring water. Oh no, this is extremely spicy. I don't know if it's legal to eat by the pool, but this is very spicy, but I like it. Mm. I've been loving coming down here at night, chilling by the pool, just listening to my music. I've been listening a lot to Corday. It used to be white band Corday, now it's just Corday. C. Carter, that's the song I've been bumping. If you wanna listen to the music I listen, banger song, I've been listening to it literally. Chilling by the pool, listening to this song, eating some noodles. Gas station food from Qatar gas station. This is good. This is actually fire. I've been getting to like it more and more. But before I leave in the next video, street foods in Qatar, I'm gonna be eating the most traditional local food they eat over here with some local people. They're gonna take me around because I don't really know what they do here. They're gonna take me and show me everything around what they eat at night in the market here. Subscribe if you're new. Smash the like button on this video. I love you. And as always, turn your head to motivators. I see you next time. Peace.